month of April marks Child Abuse Prevention Month, a time to raise awareness. And this morning we have Nelda De Leon to discuss it with the Family Outreach Center. And good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here, Nelda. Very sensitive subject. Tell us a little bit about the stats that we're seeing here in the Valley. Unfortunately, last year we had three fatalities and we had 1,819 confirmed cases of child abuse in Cameron County alone. Wow. Do you deal with just Cameron County or is it the entire valley including Nidango, Star, Willisie? Our program, which is Tip of Texas Family Outreach, we assist families within the southern region of uh, Cameron County, which is um, from Brownsville all the way to Los Fresnos and Port Isabel. Okay. And so on a daily basis, what kind of cases do you see? How severe are they? We, uh, we work with at-risk families. Uh, these families can be referred from CPS. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times they may not be at risk. There are school counselors who often refer families to our program as well. And there we also have self-referrals, uh, parents who feel that at times they don't know how to correctly maybe react to a certain situation or maybe the, our lives can be a little bit conflicting sometimes and we don't know um, how to you know, approach a, a a specific situation. So um, they come to us and, and they sign up for their free parenting classes. And you are going to have a walk very soon to sort of address this issue. Yes. A lot of times we ask ourselves, and most recently every week we've been hearing a story of a child being abused. And we ask ourselves, well, what can we do? Yeah. Well, this is a perfect opportunity for someone to stand up and do something. We're having this walk. Um, it's our walk to stop child abuse. It's our first annual walk. And our walk is going to begin at our office. Our office is located at 455 East Levy in Brownsville. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to begin at 830. Registration for the walk is um, $10 for adults, mm -hmm. $5 for children. The first 50 people that register will receive a goodie bag with a bracelet and a shirt. Um, so we you know, ask everybody pre-register so you can get your shirt. Uh, we also, uh, the, the walk will begin at our office and will end at Dean Porter Park. Right. So after our walk, we will be having a fair, and this fair is free to the public. Anybody can go. Um, this is a good opportunity because we're going to have 18 other social service agencies there, and we're going to be giving out information um, about our services. Mm -hmm. There will also be a lot of fun activities for the kids. We're going to have kite flying. We're going to have a coloring station. A Bronzel PD is going to be there taking their fingerprints and doing the identification cards. So it's going to be a very fun-filled activity. So we invite everybody to join us. Absolutely. Hopefully we'll all be there in support of this great program. So thank you so much. We're going to continue to talk to you a lot more about this walk. So stick with us. In the meantime, let's send it over to Victoria.